Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Um, today we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment which I think should be fun. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it and show you what we're going to be doing. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of this like neon painting on canvases and stuff and I thought that we could um, translate that into card making um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll post an image in the top left hand corner of something that's similar basically you start with the black um, base and then you would draw out your image in white outline and then you're gonna add color to the outside of that to make it look like it's a neon light sign um, so for this technique I've not tried it yet, so we're trying it for the first time today, um, but I'm assuming that it would work best with images that have a lot of open space in them, because it would be very hard to get into some like nooks and crannies of some of the areas, depending on your stamp. Um, so today I'm gonna use the Mama Elephant Celebration Hamsters um, with this balloon, um, but like other ones you could use, I just grabbed a few of mine that I found that had big open spaces. Uh, MFT Hog Heaven. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of star lines in them, so then this one would be good. I have this doodlebug stamp. Um, this lava with smoke cloud would be cute. It's not a huge image, but um, I think it would still be workable and would make it cute, like Valentine's Day card or something. Um, and then I have this MFT ghostly greetings. This would be a really fun Halloween card, especially doing it on the black. Um, you could do like rainbow ghosts and the pumpkins. Um, so I think that would be cute. So I might do something like that around Halloween time. Um, but for now, I'm going to work on a birthday card <coughs> using this set. Um, so what I'm going to do is first I cut a four and a quarter by five and a half panel. I will end up cutting it down later again because I like white mats on my cards. But I thought it would just be easy to start off with this. I'm going to use this guide that I have. I think I bought this set Simon Says Stamped. I'll put the link for it below. Um, but it just helps you center your sentiments and, and images on your panel. Um, it works better obviously on camera if it's on white background or a light color, but this will work fine. I can see it perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna I just wanna make sure that my little hamster dude is centered. And then I'm gonna put the sentiment underneath him. And maybe move it over a little bit more. Actually it's pretty good. I'm gonna make sure this center balloon is in the middle. Okay, and then you're going to want to uh, use your anti-static powder tool. I have this rabbit hole designs one, which I love because it's not as messy as bags I've had in the past. Um, and the EK Success one, I didn't really like it because the bristles were too stiff and sometimes they'll leave marks on your cardstock. So this one's been my favorite one so far. Um, but you're going to need your anti-static powder tool and white embossing powder. I have the detail embossing powder from Recollections, which is from Michaels. Um, and for ink, you're going to need either VersaFine or Simon Says Stamp also has clear embossing ink, Lawn Fawn, like a bunch of brands have them. So whatever one you're using is fine. I have the Lawn Fawn one because most of the inks I have are from Lawn Fawn. I'm just going to rub that anti-static powder down so that we don't have stuff sticking where we don't want it. Um, and this fun tool I got on Timu recently. I didn't show it in a haul or anything, but it's basically like an air hockey um, paddle, I guess. 
Um, and I just thought it would be good for some even pressure. I was using this foam pad, which works, but you have to put a little bit more pressure on it just because it is foam, it is flexible. Um, so this is a good alternative and it was only like a few dollars. Okay, that looks good. Set this off to the side right now. Blue my embossing powder. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna melt this using my heat tool. And I'll speed through this. Okay, so that's it for that. I'm just gonna buff away some of this powder using a clean cloth. The panel's a little warped, but I'll throw it through my uh, die cutting machine after. Okay, so what you want next is a, you're gonna need like a waxy based pencil crayon. Um, so I got my present of colors. I got a white, um, and then I'm using the neon orange, neon pink, neon yellow. Um, I, I do have the 150 set also, so I have all of the colors. Um, cerulean blue, spring green were like the two brightest ones I could find. And then for the hamster, I'm gonna use eggshell and mineral orange which is kind of like a brownish orange. Um, okay, so I finished this card and I didn't love it. Um, so I'm just gonna circle back and start over. So I did a little bit of testing off screen and decided that I was gonna do it a little bit differently. Um, so the first time I did this card, I did the white uh, like a little bit further because I was getting, going for a bit more of that glow look. Um, which is, if you like this, you can definitely do it this way, um, where you just come out a bit thicker on the white, um, and then just keep the color a bit thinner, but, um, this looks a little bit too messy to me, so I decided to, um, just trace your white on the inside and outside of the lines. Um, don't go too thick. Uh, just And then try to keep it as clean as possible. I'm also going to change the yellow because the fluorescent yellow is actually really close to this green that I chose. So I picked um, the canary yellow instead. Um, so what you're going to do is just go right over the white area and just cover the whole thing. And then that's it. We're not going to go out any further. And We'll just leave it like that. It's much cleaner, um, less fuzzy looking, and you can still go over with the blending tool afterwards just to smooth those lines out if you want. Um, but this this looks much better to me than this. So what you're gonna do is outline all of your shapes inside and out with the white. And then you'll go through and do your colors. I'm not going to worry about the strings. I'm just going to leave those white. Okay, so that's like our Neon Lights inspired hamster. Okay, this looks much better than this to me, so um, definitely I would prefer this. And I think I'm going to trim it a bit closer to the image this time around. Okay, 
so I've trimmed this panel down to three and a quarter by four and a half. Um, so it's going to be one inch smaller than a card base. And I think I might even add a bit of a matte layer to it. Um, maybe like a very thin one in the yellow. Or maybe the orange. Oh, the orange might look too Halloween. Well, maybe this green. It's a bit fluorescent. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this green color that I have, and then add like a very thin border. And then maybe instead of rounding the corners, I'll leave it squared off this time. Or I can round opposite corners, which maybe I'll do that. Okay, so I cut this mat a quarter inch larger than this panel, and then I'm just gonna prop it up on some foam tape and glue it down. I had a thinner mat layer, but that was not lining up correctly. Um, so I'll just do that. Um, and then I'm gonna pop this up on some foam tape as well. and then I'll do the same rounding corners here and here. Um, this punch doesn't like to work the best sometimes. So I've used it many, many times. So that's why I'm doing the corners separately. But like, obviously this folded edge I can't. Actually, it cut cleaner with the two layers. So that's our card for today inspired by neon lights. Um, give this technique a try and let me know how it goes. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, um, and let me know what you think. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!